Hey guys, welcome to Schoolhouse Brewing. We are back at it again. We are looking at an updated version of water profiles using Beersmith. We're looking at Beersmith 3. We had a video on Beersmith 2, but what we're gonna focus on is all the new additions that they've done and how much better the water chemistry tool that Beersmith has in it in version 3 is well worth the update. So here we go, cheers. Okay guys, so there's three things we're gonna need for us to do our water profiling. One is Beersmith 3, the other one is a water profile from your local source, and the other one is add-ons from uh, Beersmith. Add-ons are free. The water sample you can might be able to get from your municipal uh, area, but I suggest using a company called Ward's Labs. These guys are really good, they're really fast. Um, it's not that much money and the reason why I do it is because the water that you're getting from another location, say your water treatment plant in your local municipality, will be at a different location than where you're brewing. All that water has to be transported through pipes, through everything else. You don't know what it's picking up. Um, and for $27, you can send it off to them and they'll take care of all of that for you. Now. I suggest spending about $18 more. It's not that much more. And they give you a bottle, uh, shipping container, shipping materials, the and the postage to send it back. So you are paying for all of it. But it, the convenience factor for me was well worth it. And what they'll send you is a water profile that looks like this. And it's going to have all this information. We're going to come right back to this. So... What we want to do is we're going to open up Beersmith and Beersmith opens up. It looks a little bit different than what you're used to, I'm pretty sure. But the good part about it is um, they have really redefined a lot of tools. This is a very, very, very deep program. The guys over at Beersmith do an amazing job. But one of the things that they were lacking short with the last on the last um version of it was their water profile and they really did i think spend some time with it and they they refined it so i've compared it to another product that you can get that's a spreadsheet um and the numbers look almost identical and i really do think that this is the most convenient way to do it so what i did was i uh, created a uh, sample recipe here we called it water profile uh not your normal um not your normal size batch, I'm sure. As you know, I'm the head brewer at Schoolhouse Brewing in Marietta, Georgia. If you're ever in town, please come see us. We'd love to see you. But um, so the first thing that we're going to do, though, is we're going to do an add-on. And add-ons are right up here if you hit that. And if you go down all the way, you'll see water. Now I already have it installed, uh, but all you do is you click it here, you press install and it goes right on in. Um, then you press close. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some water. The water button is right here. Remember the add-ons are right here. Now before you go into adding your water, you're gonna have to insert up top, add water. This is where you're gonna take that information that you get from Ward's Laboratories right here and you're going to plug in these numbers into these columns and that will give you everything that you have from your water source from where you brew. Now I've already done this of course so what we'll do now is go into water and I'm going to add water. I'm going to go to my water. That's the one that I added. Um, that was the last time I added the water but if you go here you can see all of these columns I filled in based off of the information I got from wards so I press ok now that doesn't help me know what I need to add that just tells me what my water is that I'm adding I can't I haven't added anything so now I'm gonna match a target profile and what this does is it takes my water and it's going to match it to whatever profile I want. Now, you might know exactly what you want on this style of beer. I do on a lot of them. Um, now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose yellow. 
I'm gonna say it's gonna be full body. Let's say we're doing a uh, uh, full bodied yellow ale. I press okay. And it tells me exactly how many parts per million I need, but that doesn't tell me how much I need for the size of batch that I'm making. This is just telling me parts per million. So I press okay. It, it, the software takes my water, takes the target water, and it's gonna show me exactly how much I need. Now, the other nice thing is it actually adds it to the recipe. So when you're brewing, you don't have to go back to any place in Beersmith and actually look for that information. It's going to be in the program for you. Really nice. Now, the only other thing for water that I suggest doing is looking at your mash. And your mash, the reason why I bring that up is because this is where you're going to find your pH. Now, this, I, I'm gonna delete that out. If I don't have any adjuncts in here, um, I'm going to be at a 5.66. I need to be at a 5.2, uh, 5.2 uh, pH. That's basically, you you want it there for um, hot profiles. I, uh, I submit, uh, ISO reactions with hops ha happen best at a pH of about 5.2. So what I could do is I can either add lactic acid, or I like to add acidulated malt. Now, acidulated malt uh, might cost you a little bit more to do per batch. We're talking a dollar, dollar twenty for how much acidulated malt probably cost a pound. For this batch, I'm going to put in about. If I only put in one pound, it wasn't going to do anything. But I need to put in about forty-eight pounds into this batch, and I'm at five seventeen. That's not too bad. I'd probably back it down just take it down to 40 and I bet you it's going to be a little high now. Oh, we're right where we want to be, 525. And so that actually when I did that, added it straight to it also. You see there's 40 pounds of acidulated malt came in. Um and that's going to tell me everything I need. So that's how simple it is to do uh water profiling in Beersmith 3. Now, if you have Beersmith 2, we do have a link right here to a previous um, video on Beersmith 2 and water profiling. Uh, if you have any questions about water profile, please leave comments in below. We'd love to talk to you about it. Um, like I said, this is a quick down and dirty. Our next video, I'm going to actually spend some time on designing the recipe. I'm doing it kind of backwards. I wanted to put this out because I put out a blog. There's a link to a, a blog post about how to do this also. If you want written instructions down below, that works out great. Um, there's going to be a link to uh, Ward's Laboratory also. So if there's anything we can do, please hit us up. My name is Thomas. I'll see you soon. Cheers.